The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades, and this country is not alone. All over the world, we're seeing the devastating impact of this invisible killer. Uh, it affected me quite deeply, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Um, sleeping pattern completely messed up, you know, I didn't even know day or night, you know, do you know what I mean? of your hard work brings us closer to a return to more normal times. At the start, when we heard about China having this coronavirus we don't know much about, we thought we'd take it with a pinch of salt. These are the only reasons you should leave your home. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. And we've had all sorts of landmark moments when it comes to this disease, but perhaps this might well be among the most depressing. This shows you the number of people who have died, cumulative total of people who have died across the world from COVID-19. Look at it climbing over the course of the last few months. Well, where is it now? It is around the million mark. So one million people have died of this disease. Quite tough. I mean, at the beginning, you know, it's exciting. You don't have to go to school, do what you want. But after a while, it takes a toll on your mental health. So I did struggle towards the end, but you know, I pushed through it, so it was all right. And yeah, summer really got cancelled. That wasn't really much to do because everything was closed. We will succeed, and that success will belong to every one of us. We should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again.